Underneath, they're going to come in here uh, undeterred, not scared. They went into that environment in Louisville. They won that game. They fought on the backboard. They're going to be ready to play. Them. All four by double digits. Dawson Garcia, the Marquette transfer from the outside. Five players on the team who average at least 11 a game. Four of the starters except for Black. And then Brady Manick, the OU transfer off the bench. For this program is to get to the NCAA tournament. And they've finished top three in the SOCOM five years in a row as Garcia has the first five for the heels. Rothwell looking to Hunter who kicks it out to Marcus Foster. It doesn't go. Furman, two shots, two threes, both misses. Garcia down low, and he's got himself a 7-0 run. And Bob Ritchie wants a timeout for Furman. Uh, we saw that defensive prowess in the Big Ten ACC Challenge against Michigan. Lawson puts up a three and knocks it down. Caleb Love, he hit one from there against Elon the other night. Finding Baycott, who drops it in. UNC team, we can't take too much of a blow early on. Weather the storm to the first media. You want to keep it tight. Back cuts like that for two. Hubert Davis told us, hey, we know we've got the big height advantage. We're going to go inside, and they have been attacking the paint. Lawson from the outside, his second three. Point shot, the ability to bang down to him for Furman. They are still within striking. Davis can't get the roll, rebound Garcia through traffic. The offensive rebound and put back. This is Heen working on Garcia. Big size disadvantage for a YMCA move. UNC. On their home floor, and you're not ready for the moment, you will get steamrolled. But this is a group that has won, and because of that, they're coming out here confidently. And of course, against UNC, when the ball goes up, you have to be ready to rebound. Garcia to Manic and one. Well, what you're seeing here is an offensive rebound grab, and it's just pure size. 6 8 kicks it over to 6 11 and goes down low to 6 9. The game plan has worked almost to a T for UNC, but they have to be able to stop the three and take away some of the penetration as well. Hunter over low. That's a missed opportunity from, from a UNC team that's been executing early. Herman in transition, and it's a two point game. All that stirs the drink, Alex Hunter bangs down the baseline three. And then in transition, you got to get back and communicate. Love working on Joe Anderson, now picked up on the switch. Love down the lane, Manic fighting for the rebound, and the putback. Furman has made its last six from the field. Slauson backing down Garcia, and make it seven in a row for the Paladins. Furman eight of 11 from the field, Carolina eight for 15, Garcia wild shot. Manic battling for the rebound and the putback. Furman has made its last seven. Eight of 11 from the field. Hunter lines it up. And Furman within one. Half the game, they deemed ugly. Hello, well, hello. It, it hasn't been the prettiest of times here, but Manic bringing that blue collar approach. And two from deep. Bob Ritchie, their head coach, telling us old school guard and likes contact. Baycott. The follow Garcia, who's got a game high for Garcia's been such a nice piece to this group. Takes it where as it comes. Doesn't force anything, has it certainly in this one. It's been scoring a variety of ways. Hunter and one. Thursday at seven, it's App State and number two Duke. Blue Devils playing South Carolina State tonight. That's their first game. One point game. Less than five minutes to go here in this first half. Love, step back. It's good. Open three. It's good. Hunter for the lead. It's good. 17 in his homecoming in this first half.
for Alex Hunter. Davis picked up by Slauson. Entry pass, Garcia looking for Leaky Black. To deliver once he fielded the double team. Bothwell, his first basket. Leaky Black has more or less pocketed that three-point shot this season. Only two attempts, Garcia. Swiss, 18, a game high for Dawson Garcia. Tar Heels got a look up close at Garcia last year when they lost to Marquette. And Garcia had 24 and 11. Hunter, he's got 19. But in this four game win streak that they're on, they're holding opponents to one average sub 60 as Baycott dunks it in. Conditioning, uh, the mental fatigue sets in. You know you're fighting through screens, a lot of movement, and any day like they're going to get a three. How about Armando Baycott? How you do it? These guards don't want to give you the basketball. Sometimes you got to make them do it. Leaky Black, so repeatedly he finally pulls the trigger. Baycott has provided the juice. Those two plays got the guys lifted and created a spark here in the second stanza. Black again, and that's two in a row. Effort play again for the big fella, Baycott. R.J. Davis, the three. And it's Baycott. Who else on the offensive glass? That kind of effort is appealing at the next level. Baycott down low. Foster got Baycott in the air and finishes. Davis pretzels inside for two. Showing true maturity, not taking what's available beyond the arc, but forcing the issue to attack the rim, understanding they will not be met with resistance. Hunter, he's got 21. He's got as good a backcourt as anybody in all of Division I. There is Davis from inside the arc. There's a UNC alum mentioned Charlie Scott's 73rd birthday is tomorrow. So Charlie, wow. happy birthday to you and a uh, big time thank you for all you've done for the game. You know, all the Riddler sized question marks afterwards. And when you look at those two teams in Duke North Carolina, as Baycott just continues to be big, athletic, and too much of a load down low, the other guys are hovering around 30. Now look, the three point line isn't the end all be all. I still think Duke is one of the two best teams right now in the country. I look at them and I look at Baylor as my two favorite teams. First three of the second half by Furman. Love, tough shot. Manic, clean. 13 for the OU transfer. Three. Big bounce. There's Garcia, the board. Now you're getting good looks from three, and your confidence is completely waned. And UNC is going to wait. Dawson Garcia really got things started early for UNC, and then it was Armando Baycott, one of the other bigs, who set the tone on both ends of the floor. Early in that second half. In four straight games. And a two to one assist to turnover ratio for love. You'll live with you'll live and love. Graders ice cream, on the other hand, I will give you that one. One out of two ain't bad. Isn't that what Milo said? In the Big Ten ACC challenge. Yeah, and defense was their Achilles heel. So a, a group that wants to be great improves and works it. But you know what that helps? You're going to get better in practice when you're that deep. Your first five going against your second five. You're going to challenge each other. This group can only get better and enriched in practice. That's massive. Five straight wins for the Tar Heels. They've held all five of those opponents to below 65 points.